Hey guys, welcome back with another video with Linksy. Uh, my voice, I'm just woken up and I left the AC on all night, so I am a little bit nasal. And, um, sorry for that, but welcome back guys. So today we're going to actually do a replay from one of my live streams. Uh, I've been meaning to get to this because it's a scenario battle. Yes, this is the city of Rome and it's Rome versus Carthage. It's a 3v4. Uh, there are four armies of Carthaginians. Uh, I'll go through the, na the names uh, as we go along. I believe this is Assassins. This is Blue Sky. Uh, for, this was a random. And this was Mare. I'm not sure, but I think this was Mare. Ourselves, this was Essence and myself. Uh, these two guys are my, my own. Uh, Greasy Boy was here. And this was me. Fan. I don't know who put down these uh, fireballs. Whoever did. Damn, he pain in the arse. Uh, I think it was just one of those glitches that it, sometimes they get placed down randomly. All right, let's get going. Ooh, there's calf back here as well. Ooh. So I get my calf out this way, um, straight off the bat. So with regards to army compositions, um, I mean, Rome's army composition is pretty so solid, except its horses. We'll see these horses at play later. We have Hastati, we have Syrian archers, Balearic slingers. We have legionnaires, legionary cohort, more Hastati, Avocati cohort, Praetorian guard. Uh, you know, it's everything Rome has gotten in uh, at a decent level. Uh, since we're playing on medium-sized Rome, um, we only got Scorpion Tower, uh, Scorpions, and they decided to get Scorpions, I decided to get more cavalry. I have uh, half my army here. Unfortunately, I placed just too little on this side. I needed a bit more, and perhaps my Praetorian Guard could have done more on that angle. But with regards to my cav, I get my cav out here, and I'm slowly moving it that way. Cartages, uh, Carthaginians, Carthages, Jesus, no, you're not printers. Lib Libyan infantry, Scutaria, Balearic slingers and Cretan archers over here. Lots of Italian swordsmen. They have heavy onagers which are attacking the wall. Over here, there's an all out assault by these Iberian swords, Libyan infantry. Everyone's just going across the bridge, which is that, that zone. Uh, these guys have the right idea, having themselves a little bit of protection. And more archers and some Carthaginian calf over here on the backside. Meanwhile, I'm just getting my cavalry all through the back and I'm trying to either snipe these archers or that general, whatever comes first. But it seems over here he notices the archers and moves back. Um, while this is happening, <laughs> this guy is just slowly moving in. Assassin is just slowly taking his sweet time to move in. And they had artillery as well here. Interesting. So yeah, there's a lot over on this side that they have. Uh, could have gone out from these gates, uh, sallied out, came on this side and ended up like forming a kill box. Could have fought for the walls a little bit better uh, than I did. Uh, I don't... I wasn't entirely sure how I could defend the walls. Because uh, then retreat would have... If I lost only one part, retreat would have been a very awkward and messy fight. But uh, such is the way of the game. Um... Over on this side, the wall is already down. I believe there are onagers over here. Yeah, onagers are shooting down the wall. Troops are charging in. And the fight is about to start. Uh, Hastati coming in. There are Belair Extingers on the Syrian archers on the wall. Shooting into these Libyan infantry. We're going to see these guys drop down like flies. Do they have precision shot on as well? No, they do not. If they had precision shot, these guys would have died even faster. They're already down 20 men. Uh, this is just a massacre that's happening in the middle. But in reality, it's actually taking a lot of our attention away from these important units, which are about to assault uh, the wall on this side. Wall is about to break with these vigilates on it. I'm not entirely sure why the wall was being broken over here. It uh, yeah, like it doesn't make sense uh, why they would attack there. But you know, everyone has their uh, rights. Um, legionnaires charge out, peel a throw these uh, Libyan infantry, stop the, um, yeah, they're not 70 men, they stop this um, battering ram, almost breaking these Libyan infantry completely. These Iberian swordsmen are not having a good day over there. More troops charge out, Hastati charge out against Libyan infantry. Now, Hastati are much 
cheaper than Libyan Infantry, but when you look at their stats, Libyan Infantry, you could get two Hastati, but Hastati will do ridiculous damage to one Libyan Infantry. I think three Hastati would be two Libyans, but three Hastati would cost like a Libyan and just basically a Libyan and a th third, so um, Libyan Infantry and a third. So you're, you're looking at a uh, very good value for money trades over there. More troops are coming in, especially since I have my cav back here. Soshi Equites, Soshi Equites Extraordinary. This is Shock Cavalry, this is Heavy Melee Cav, but I'm about to find out that they are not good. Flying Wedge Formation, just that little bit extra. Charge bonus into the rear of this uh, General's Bodyguard, and nope, nothing happens. Like a a another Cavalry unit, this would have been. You know, taking at least 5, 10, no, not in this case, no, 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 no. So I'm trying to run away with my equities, I'm like, what the hell happened, I'm so confused. He lost 2, no, he lost 2, he lost exactly 2 men. And I'm coming in and I'm like, alright, alright, these are medium cavalry, I have very heavy shock. Uh, I get the charge into the flank of this uh, unit, and this is why you know Roman cavalry sucks it is so bad this unit has been charged and it's been rear charged and it's not dying now Carthaginian cavalry is a horrendously bad unit but you know everyone to himself i guess uh i mean uh nine minutes in and their fight to the walls over here hasn't started blue skies is still move moving in trying to break in this um five minutes in sorry not nine uh, trying to break the walls over here. Uh, meanwhile, the center army is getting cleaned up by these Hastati legionaries just charging in. The cavalry for um, uh, Greece, I believe, just charging in into those archers, trying to stop the missiles from firing. Unfortunately, it's taking a lot of damage. Um, just a ridiculous amount of damage. Syrians on the walls went off. Uh, Osiris actually went off the walls because noble fighters got onto the walls there and these Balearics are having the time of their life shooting at them. They're not going to do that much damage but they slowly whittle them down one by one and this is a ridiculously expensive unit that can do a lot of damage. There are some more legionaries on here to deal with it and the Praetorian Guard is in front ready to do the damage. More legionaries, uh, legionary cohort outside the city now. Uh, oh yeah, legionary cohort have the uh, scatula helmet, which looks like a uh, in uh, a cooking cooking equipment, and they're facing off late Libyan hoplites. They're they're gonna do very well against that. Uh, multiple Libyan hoplites will not even start scratching the itch that legion cohorts will cause. We here has started managed to break through, getting into Cretan archers and do the damage. Finally, I managed to clean out those Carthaginian cavalry. They killed twenty nine of my horses. Like. This is insane, right? That's at least that's what I'm thinking. And now I just decide to start charging this way. There's the general. I said I'll clean it up, and we'll see what's going on there. Meanwhile, on this side, the walls are fall finally falling, and the Libyan infantry and Italian swordsmen are charging in. Not many units to hold the line. There's some vigilates, there's some slingers, there's some troops here and there, but it's not going to be a pretty sight. On my end, uh, troops are about to get onto the wall. I have some stuff on the wall over there. I have legionaries and I have Praetorian Guard ready to hold the line. Uh, it could have been nice if I could have placed some archers up here and then just fought this way. I pull back my Hastati and legionaries over here and I just go into column formation because I realized I was going to lose the gate, so I might as well. And these arrow towers, even though I could have fought outside the gate, perhaps I could have done even better than I eventually did. As you guys will see, but um, yeah, if I think outside the game might have been much better and just do triple sexies over there. Uh, at the same time, though, I'm really focused on uh, this general uh, trying to kill him, uh, pushing him into these legionnaires, and just doing as much damage as I can, getting into those archers just here, getting a charge into these moving archers, getting as many of them. Uh, murdered uh, as fast as possible and they're they're dying they're dying fast pretty pretty fast so I'm quite happy I'm like yeah I have a couple of kills on my horses already you know, life's good most of our army is okay we've killed most of the noble fighters 
one entire army is out the other armies are taking damage this army over here is taking volumes and volumes of damage these slingers already melting so many of these Italian swordsmen and they'll probably wipe those out some Libyan infantry getting onto the walls Qutari getting on the walls Hastati here facing off Italian swordsmen and winning and then they'll be able to surround that Libyan infantry uh, more Hastati being brought in and uh, yeah it's looking good but now the nightmare starts the nightmare is about to start um, we haven't been hit by this army and this army has only just now started putting pressure on Greece's flank as he is caught out of position because he's fighting over here most of his army is out here uh, between our my cav and his um, troops there isn't much we can do on this side uh, to come and support these troops Gallic hunters fighting Hastati they're not gonna uh, Gallic warriors sorry, they're not gonna do well but it's it's putting extra pressure and there's a lot of troops left over on that side but we still have our reserves we still have a lot of archers and we still should be able to do uh, relatively well this army is completely wiped out 200 kills on my uh associate was extraordinary uh, and now we're just cleaning up this area and we're seeing what we can do the other quarries over here are breaking uh, relatively easy against the legionnaires and then they got and more gallic warriors coming and being brought in he's charging in in fact and he's doing counter charge over here throwing the peel over there and just stopping pulling out and yeah he's just trying to micro the shit out of that meanwhile i see there's still this honor there with ammunition and there's balearic slingers i'm like hmm, i can't take that out if i try these archers are doing God's work on the slipping infantry. Uh, and over here, it seems the slingers, yeah, the slingers pulled back completely because, well, Scutaria and, uh, you know, getting Scutaria in your back is not always, not always a fun experience. The Libyan infantry is massacring the Hastati, but it is getting damaged severely. But at the same time, um we noticed that we need to start pulling back i have my cavalry over here which i don't know why they're not attacking um this poor guy is like let me live please i should have really been cycle charging this uh Balearix repeatedly nice uh, troops over there routing padding those kills um these troops are breaking these gallic warriors are down to with 44 men um there's a unit of legionnaires holding the line and the arrow tower is getting caught should have cleaned this up uh, completely uh, but over here the uh, Carthaginian onager is dying um, wiping it out and I'm also charging these Balearic slingers which are losing the battle but they're still somehow dealing damage to my troops um, yeah the onager is gone and this one will be gone very soon as well and uh, that's that's the end of it like uh, over there just not much on this side the fight has started they've breached the walls multiple areas they're coming in and i'm trying to fight i'm trying to trim these archers down uh killing whatever i can it uh, comes my way uh but again syrian archers uh la not very good at landing shots apparently meanwhile cretan archers have better accuracy for some weird reason I have Praetorian Guard over here, and I'm like, yeah, I can deal with this. It will do will do well, but I'm not sure how well it will do, considering how outnumbered they are. So I'm, I'm pushing back the Cretan Archers slightly, but my uh, Syrian Archers are really not having a fun day over there. They are getting severely damaged, and there's a lot of Semite Warriors holding the line. On this flank, um, they're attacking, but my Syrian Archers are actually beating off the better Alex and these better eggs are actually going down and my troops are actually holding at this point i should have just when i pulled back with miss lost my missiles i should have pulled back with my praetorian guard and just set up a secondary line of defense here or even just a secondary line of defense there and these hastati i had no idea what they're doing i ordered them to go over there but they decide to go on that side oh meanwhile at the center the center has held pretty well um this uh, army is just cycling through the back and trying to come through the rear and to the capture point from the back whereas the center is, has been cleared and there are some legionary cohort over there making sure no sneaky calf charges 
and Greece is managing to do some damage over here, but now Cretan Archers coming in. Cretan Archers are ridiculously good against almost all Archers, and they will win every fight they have against Archers. Um, over in this side, the Bellic Slingers are down, but unfortunately now I'm facing Cretans as well. And there are the Semite Warriors firing their Pila in. Hopefully the Hastati, the way I position them is the Hastati were meant to be absorbing the, the shots. And I'm also throwing some shots with these uh, Praetorian Guard into the flanks of these Gallic Warriors. Getting a few kills for the Praetorian Guard, also softening up these Gallic Warriors. More troops are being brought in on that side. And the Pikeman is coming uh, towards our side. My Legionnaires are beating that unit, but my Praetorian Guard is not having a good day whatsoever. Syrian Archer is broken completely. And... Uh, I'm trying again, I'm just trying to shoot at whatever uh, target I see, but not doing very well at all over there. Um, Gallic Wars over here are breaking. My Legionnaires and Hastati over uh, holding pretty decently, but now at this point my army is not having a good time. I'm bringing back my cavalry in. They did get a few decent amount of kills to clean up this area. Um, we're just getting into back into the city. I'm trying to go to try to help Greece see what I can do but breaking through Libyan infantry with a charge with such shitty cavalry was not perhaps something top of my list and he has pushed too far forward for me to be able to do anything uh, essence meanwhile is just relaxing over here he's bringing forward his uh, scorpion he's probably gonna shoot they're actually they're both bringing their scorpions forward and this is a good shot for scorpions he has better extinguishers over here so this is a kill zone uh, these Hastati are gonna get ridiculous volumes of kills, especially since the battle extinguishers are on the wall. And some troops are being pulled back to hold the rear of Palantine Hill against the troops that are charging in from there. From my end, I'm trying to pull back, and unfortunately my Praetorian Guard is getting shot in the rear. Uh, I pull back too late and I make a mistake, so I decide, you know what, just do a last stand, do as much damage as you can and see what happens. Getting some side shots into those Semites, but my troops, like three, two Cretan archers, having a field day over there. Uh, the Beric Slingers did actually survive, and my uh, Syrian archers ended up being demolished by the Cretans. So I must take my hat off to this Carthaginian player who humbled me. Semite warriors, Scutari, everything getting onto the walls. I'm trying to do some damage as I can. Um, getting a few shots here and there, box shots and doing some damage but uh, it's a bit too late my uh, hastati are getting in place and getting ready to rumble but again it's a bit too late my cav is coming in and i'm just trying to pull back these guys went down really fast so i was very happy about that these are uh, finally getting some use of my syrian archers this is not a cheap unit scutaria units are really strong but my Praetorian Guard, 1,300 gold, 51 kills, that was just shameful, absolutely shameful. Uh, and the other side, there's cycle charging in the units, really good use of that, uh, quite fun actually, uh, and does a lot of damage. Praetorian Guard are, how the hell are they down 11 men? Maybe they were focusing them down by archers or Pila. I have some more Hastati up in the front, just doing some damage. More Hastati here, Soji Equites uh, coming in and I'm just pulling back and trying to set up a defensive line as best as I can. My Hastati over here finally breaking, uh, considering what they were fighting and uh, getting ready to rumble. Um, I have some, the Sock Cavalry still here because I was hoping I could get a rear charge onto these troops. I wasn't finding a way that I could get a reliable charge. Uh, the Hastati and Legionnaires of... Uh, of Greece uh, started crumbling and uh, I mean he did ridiculous damage he killed an entire army and a half so there is uh, there, there, there is stuff that he could do over on this side um, Hastati Legionnaires and Praetorian Guard getting ready to fight against these three Libyan infantry over in this side as well the Libyan infantry um, lost their missile support it seems Completely massacred. Yeah, the Cretan archers are kind of stuck on the wall and the others are dead um, And now um, Honestly speaking they should get onto the gate up here 
uh, this wall going down, but they should get up and clean up these Beleriag Slingers. But they're going for those Hastati over in the walls. There's Syrian archers. They're ready to shoot. And this is going to be brutal. So this is a kill box. A really, really good kill box. They've been infantry charging in. And perhaps they should have just set up a line here while they started chewing at that. Legionnaires fighting there. And Hastati just charging in creating a flank for the, the Praetorian Guard and this is how you know Praetorian Guard are one of the best units in the game look at them go now they're just jumping off the wall and they're gonna charge into that Libyan infantry from the flank and that's going to do damage there was a gap big enough for them to just walk in twice over they're just walking in and now they can just cycle charge anything they want from the rear uh, they don't have that much of a charge bonus, but they do have 6 to 5 melee attack and 39 weapon damage. Of which, actually, how much? 5 armor piercing. So they have a little bit more armor piercing than normal. Pila straight into the back of that Libyan infantry and gone. Unfortunately, on my side, I am struggling. I've barely done any damage to this uh, person. And he is pushing forward with his remainder of the troops. He has still a lot of Cretans with a lot of ammunition. And he's doing really, really good damage on my troops. I uh, have thought and Praetorian Guard. I'm pulling them back because I was fighting a uh, African pikeman in a choke point. I notice and I start fighting. Again, I just set up another line of defense. And I'm trying to bring my Balearics in to try and shoot down those Cretans. And do some damage as best as I can. They notice and they start shooting at my... Uh, Balearix really fast so I pull back and uh, it was a basically a game of cat and mouse I was trying to delay as long as possible my Hastati here are pulling back but they're getting slaughtered by those Cretans and uh, just in general then this is the point where we realized there were a lot of routing units uh, over there just broken nowhere to run the Semites over here are getting you know they're charging Hastati so they're gonna have a good time over there and my Sochi equities are slowly moving in. I just needed a way to break into those Cretan archers. And I would have been happy. I'm getting my Hastati to charge. Throw their Pila. And... We'll see what happens here. So, so they throw their Pila. They're cycling ar circling around me. But he has so many Baryan swordsmen and troops on the wall. That he's just killing my men. Left, right and center. And there's not much I can do about it. I'm trying to cycle charge in through this side, but then I notice there's a gap over here, so I, I make a, uh, my formation in a gap, a breaking formation, and I cycle charge. Uh, sorry, I charge these noble fighters in the rear. This is a noble unit of noble fighters over there, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Some of where is still left, and I'm just managing to just barely get in. Uh, he's charging in my units, but I charge in his general. Uh, which is a noble shock cavalry, which is down to half health because I managed to get a good shot and then I get a charge into his archers, which is very useful for me at this point On this side, I'm struggling. Uh, my Praetorian Guard is doing some damage But I should have just pulled back over here I think this would have been a much better kill zone because I would have gotten my slingers down this way shooting into the rear I was just trying to slow. In fact, yeah, I do. I do pull back at this point, and he's chasing me. And uh, I mean, I'm running out of troops. Most of my my money was spent on this Praetorian Guard and my cavalry. My cavalry did okay, relatively okay. I mean, this cavalry is 200 kills, and it's cleaning up those archers. Lots of pilas being thrown in. Um, by those archers, Jesus, that that calf unit did not have fun. These were noble fighters, uh, where are they? 200 kills just from that point. These Hastati will hold for a while against the Samoids, but they're losing uh, losing battle. My ballet extinguishers are going up. I'm getting my shock Aquitaise uh, coming in to try and help as best as possible. On this flank, the archers were completely decimated by the noble cavalry charge. And these uh, legionnaires are surrounded, fighting Libyan infantry. They're winning the fight, but they're not going to win the war. And good thing for us is the Spetorian Guard has helped to clean up all of those uh, Libyan infantry. The Libyan infantry over here coming in and uh, support of some Cretan archer fire. They're doing damage, but at this point we're just pulling back. Uh, we're just pulling back everything we have because it is not looking good. 
Over here, he actually got a really good kill shot. I did not see this. Okay, so he put uh, slingers on both sides, uh, slingers and archers on both sides, and he's just shooting into the rear, breaking those units really fast over there. My poor Hastati getting finished off by those um, Cretan archers up there. This would have made Hannibal proud. And uh, pretty much this, this was a Hannibal versus Rome scenario. Really, really uh, just a tough situation. At this point, uh, my coffee. Oh, it's actually nice coffee this morning. Mm. Sometimes I just get the ratio to coffee, coffee to sugar really well. And it just works. So I did not manage to retreat that many units. I have a unit of Hastati, a unit, depleted unit of Hastati and depleted unit of Praetorian Guard. But that's just about it. And I was really scared about these um, these fireballs. Because even if I did the kill zone here, these fireballs were going to be the end of me. I have my Sochi Equites ready. But this is a kill like 100 Semites. 160 uh, mercenary warriors, 60 Samoids and the Barians over there. It's not looking good for us. There's a full-on retreat from the center. Um, Greece, I think, has been pretty much eliminated at this point. Uh, these Libyan infantry managed to clean up the legionnaire cohort over there. 339 kills on that legionnaire cohort. And there is a mad dash by the remnants of Mare, I think. Again, I think this is Mare coming in towards the center. And this is where the fight is going to happen. This is going to be a brutal last stand. My troops over here just routing. Just getting out of uh, arm's way. And my point, at, my main thought at this point was hold the line as long as possible. Hopefully we clean up this and we clean up this and once these troops come in from the rear we'll have I mean we have few legionnaires which are in decent shape and There's a Praetorian Guard unit somewhere that is pretty much in very decent health and with my shock uh, Essence was telling me that I needed to start cycle charging them when he engaged His units were damaged so there is that the main problem is that these Squitarii and Samites and Pikemen were in really good shape. He's sniping my general. Uh, not cool. I'm trying to pull back. And uh, I charged into his Squitarii, which were in disarray. And ho actually, I attacked them in the rear. And was hoping to do some damage. I actually did a little bit of damage over there. Soshi Equites, and I'm starting to prepare to just cycle charge. Um, ooh, the Scorpion. Getting into those noble fighters. Doing some damage. Why is it fighting into, firing into the wall? Oof. That was brute. Ay, ay, ay. How the hell do you even get up from that? No, you don't. So yeah, just sending his troops in as he could, best he could. He did get ambushed by these legionnaires, which just, just started to make it back from over there. And these Samites are getting in, and I'm just letting them in. I'm just waiting for them to just open a location where I could cycle charge and to do damage. The capture point was getting taken. I was getting some really nice shots with these slingers into the rear of these Samites. And if those broke, he would have had to commit more troops. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So the troops are shooting over there. Some white warriors are coming for my slingers, and uh, I'm just pulling back my slingers. I'm getting my general in over on this side. I got a cycle charge into the Scutarii. Uh, it's getting damaged, but again, oh Jesus Christ, pikemen! My troops fighting pikemen had one. This, this is this is a no go. I, I'm, I'm trying to break this unit because if I broke this unit, I'll be able to charge into the pikeman's rank. But there's only so much I can do at that point. The general is fighting my Sochi Equites. I did manage to get a charge and get his general pinned down. His Libyan infantry getting in, and my Sochi Equites just down to a few men, getting a decent charge into that Cretan archer unit over there. 
300 kills on my cav. Quite happy with that. But I mean, they, they've been wiped out now. There's two of them left. But these Cretan archers, get, getting that last extra charge was was a nice nice touch. These Semite warriors are getting broken. Uh, and I'm using my general to try and break them as fast as possible. Not giving them a chance to stand back up. And uh, finally, I find a location from Hastati to go in. And I'm thinking if my Hastati can make it through here, it's going to be really good. These Cretan archers are firing at my general, um, who is running around non-stop. And that was giving me the opportunity. These guys, If these guys broke at 64, Jesus. Because uh, if, if they actually get in there, this is going to be brutal for, uh, for him. Uh, yep, they managed to get in. They managed to get in. And... Why did they stop? Come on, charge. Oh boy. They managed to get in, but the Celtic Warriors got there in time to stop it. Um, the Scutari over there doing well. The Pikes are also doing well. The Slingers getting their numbers up, their kill count up. My General is still running around trying trying to break those summit Warriors, but these Praetorian Guard are paying for themselves really well. So what are the Noble Fighters, which managed to break the legionary units that were sent against it i think that's two legionary units and on this flank essence was doing his damned best to hold all of this horde as best as possible but there's just so much left so many units left he had some slingers left with ammunition but this is insane what he was fighting charging the samite warriors once more in the rear and they just do not want to break. These Praetorian Guard getting into the Cretan Archers. And that is GG for the Cretan Archers. There's no chance they can survive this. General cycle charging the Noble Fighters from the rear. Um, getting attacked by Praetorian Guard. Which are slightly better shape, uh, I think. Praetorian Guard 70 melee attack. They're just... Praetorian Guard have been rear charged all this game. And now they're just cleaning up house over there. My forces, I've actually managed to, I didn't realize how much, but I actually managed to kill quite a few. The only thing that was left is these pikemen, which I was trimming down with my slingers. I'm actually quite happy with the amount of kills I managed to get over here, because um, it's uh, relatively decent. My general is doing mech, uh, could have been doing better, but there's only so much. I tried to stop this... Uh, Noble Calf from coming in as he managed to... They realized they could actually get troops over there. They had most of their generals still alive with the exception of the first one. And this general unit is seeing the end of his days. It's not looking pretty for me whatsoever. The pike broke and at least that was a good sign. And uh, now I'm trying to try and break this unit of Scutari. Because if, again, the more I break over here, the better. And I should have really been able to deal with that assault really easily. I grew overconfident because it was two choke points. And I overestimated my ability of my troops. These troops are breaking. And that's the end of it. He's actually charging with Libyan infantry after that unit over there. There are some Semite warriors there which are still fighting. Ah, these better Slingers are still alive from the start of the game. But mine are the, now pretty much spent. These cycle charges, break, trying to break those Legionnaires, is going to cost us the game. So basically now it's down to the Noble Fighters and Praetorian Guard. If either of them breaks, the, their team wins. There is still some units of Legionnaires that are still healthy. And some Syrians over there. Uh, I believe there are also a number of Hastati which are slowly making their way back home. Now at this point is you need to make sure you don't lose the troops that you need to actually win the game. Because if you lose too much you'll get army loss penalties and currently balance of power definitely in favor of the attackers. We're just trying to break the units as they're coming along and these units are slowly breaking one by one. But... Uh, Bye bye my slingers, which still had ammunition and they could have done a lot more. But this this general unit is uh, not gonna, you know, not gonna let my slinger boys survive. Uh, I, what do I do? I should have stood and fought. I think I I, I stand and fight over there because it will slow down his charge. And uh, to be honest, they should have kept cycle charging here. 
They could have set cy cycle charging the Praetorian Guard. They should have kept cycle charging the other units because that is where the money was. Not these uh, Valeria Slingers or these ones. Their generals were 300 kills on that Noble Cavalry. That's insane. Uh, this one's just for General's Bodyguard 43. The Praetorian Guard won against the Mercenary Fighters. They're at 500 kills. This Libyan Infantry is about to die. And... Uh, yeah, legionaries. I think at this point where, oh no, we can't see it because uh, I have bodies turned off. There is just a massive, massive routing uh, scale over there. These guys holding everything they have, doing their best to try and hold, and they finally broke. Um, these legionaries charging in, and uh, Essence over here knew that if he killed the general, this would be easy to route. There isn't much left. I mean, this general unit over here cleaned up my slingers, but lost quite a few men in the progress. Um, Praetorian Guard over here slowly but surely winning against uh, the Libyan infantry, keeping those in check. The legionaries just deciding to uh, charge in against the rem remnants of these lib few Libyan infantry, and the Hastati are getting in on the action. With these Libyan infantry broken, the Praetorian Guard can come in and massacre the remnants over here. Those Cretan archers and the troops will be ready. This general is not charging properly and he's getting glitched in with these routing units. And again, he needs to break that Legionnaire. He needs to break this Praetorian Guard. Which if we look at their ar their kills, they're just going to be shooting up. And they're fighting a really lightly armored Cretan archer, so they're going to be doing really well over there. And again, this is a nail-biting game till the last second. Um, these battery slingers broken, most of their ammunition still intact, but the general's bodyguard is now down to 28. And this is all it comes down to, these couple of units, these Hastati coming in, and uh, if they rear charge into this before the legionnaire breaks, and the legionnaire is facing the wrong side it seems. Um, it's it's a victory for the Romans. If not, uh, it's a victory for the Carthaginians. The Carthaginians are actually uh, now realizing they need to cycle charge the Praetorian Guard, and they did so very effectively. If you can see, actually, the Praetorian Guard lost like ten men in one charge, but I think it's done the damage. It's six hundred kills. It's I mean, at this point, it's the, done the damage, and army loss penalties get triggered. The um, has started charging in they're going to end up the fight and rome wins in the end very barely very very close game i mean this is all that's left 3v4 but of course having the defensive advantage of rome is uh, it's quite something it is quite something their general's bodyguard not going down without the fight cretan archers and costly victory just absolutely crazy um you know myself in greece did you know if it was a, a normal 4v4 or 3v3 well, respectable numbers especially from greece 2600 but then look at essence man look look at the kills he has 3500 kills almost 600 uh, just 600 of them are on his uh praetorian guard but then his arch is doing very well better slingers 450 kills on his auxiliary cav has started doing well across the board legionnaire is doing really good legionnaire cohort doing very good as well and uh greece uh, unfortunately his missiles didn't do as well uh just similar to mine honestly uh we really struggled with our missiles i got really good kills with my balearix at the end when i was microing them properly but then my hastati just not doing anything whatsoever i mean two of them did okay but the rest were massacred my legionnaires doing relatively okay. My Praetorians just not even worth speaking. Legionnaires for Greece doing good across the board. Some decent kills on those two. And Hastati, this one doing ridiculously good. Uh, Assassin, uh, just fantastic uh, play. Like genuinely speaking, he did ridiculously well. His Samites and mercenary noble fighters just doing so much damage and charging in with his Scutari and Cretan archers. Really well played, man. He's African pikeman putting so much pressure. It's time for Hope is the guy who destroyed in the center. I mean, his army is not the best, but he, we did also focus him down, three of us. Uh, Blue Skies, 
attacking and doing really good job from his side pushing back Greece and his general 382 kills like GG man that's really well played and King Mare as well also doing very good uh, fighting against assassins pushing in from various angles trying to find weaknesses and exploit them yeah guys thanks for watching I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday and uh, if you did enjoy this video leave a subscribe let's try to get uh, 550 by the end of next week you know let's keep pushing the, the boundaries and uh, i hope you you know have a good day uh if you do want any form of content if you want me to cover your replay send it over on discord send it total warbro at gmail.com and i'll try to give it a look okay guys bye bye and take care